Well, when it comes to red carpet royalty or black carpet royalty, Barbara Eden is one of those icons. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. I'm so happy to be here. Do you remember this street coming down at a premiere in the 60s? What was it like back then? Just about like this. Really? <laughs> yes. What is it about the, the, the world premieres that uh, never get old? Oh, I hope it never gets old. It, it's, it's exciting. It's very special. It's special to meet the actors. It's special when someone cares enough to put on a premiere and a red carpet for the fans. It's fabulous. So with your iconic role of I, Gina, Genie, I, I host a lot of movie prop auctions, and it seems like the Genie bottles from the show have an extraordinary value. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars. What do you make of that? I think it's great. I have always known the value of a bottle, a genie bottle. <laughs> I will value a genie bottle. <laughs> and do you have any um, superstitions or traditions when it comes to December 31st at midnight? No, I don't. For so many years, I worked on New Year's Eve because I was a singer. So uh, <laughs> I was either in Las Vegas or when I was very young in San Francisco. I started when I was 16. Um, it was with dance bands, you know, around the San Francisco Bay Area. How are you keeping busy these days? These days? Well, I wrote a book last year. It was a New York Times bestseller, and I'm very proud of it. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, it's a, uh, my memoirs is what it is, yes. Now, were you um, writing things down, keeping a journal in those days, or did it just come from straight memories? It's memories, memories, and I, I have a lot of photographs and are you constantly amazed by the love that you receive from fans, new and old, when it comes to I Dream of Jeannie? I am amazed and I love it. I'm just so proud and happy. She's very easy to live with, you know. Velvet Red, access granted.